Welcome back, Odors. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today, we're going to learn how to create and process batches in the payroll app. Batches help companies process payroll much faster by processing multiple paychecks at once. Batches not only speed up payroll processing, but can also help keep companies organized. Stealthy would process this payroll every two weeks. So we create one batch for every two week pay period. We also create batches when we have multiple pay slips that are not part of our two week payroll, but they can be grouped together like our weekly intern paychecks. So follow me as I process payroll batches. Okay, so here we are on our main payroll dashboard. We can see the most recent batches inside of this batches box that we have over here. This shows me the name, date, and number of pay slips inside of the batches, and you can see that just hovering over them. And it also tells me their current status. In this case, these are all paid, except for this latest one that we have over here, the status of new. I can access all batches by clicking all over here in the top right corner. Nice. Okay, so here's a list of all the batches in the database. And it displays the same information that we saw on each batch card. So today I need to process payroll for our newest carpentry interns. Our interns are paid on a weekly basis instead of bi-weekly like the rest of our employees. I've decided to organize my payroll by creating bi-weekly batches for all of our regular employees and weekly batches for those interns. So I'm gonna create a new batch from this dashboard by selecting new in the top left corner over here. Okay, so first I gotta enter what I consider a batch name. We're gonna call this one interns. And what do we title this one? We're gonna do 323. 25 dash. We're going to go to 329.25. All right, perfect. Very literal name right there. Next, I need to modify this period fields just since, well, I just mentioned this is for the last week of March. So we're going to select the 23rd right there. And then over here, we're going to select the 29th. Perfect. Everything is set. And next, we need to add the pay slips over here since I've already created them. So I'm going to select. Add pay slips right there. And look at that. Odoo only presents pay slips that have been created but are not yet part of a batch. I know that we only have two interns right now, so these happen to be the only two pay slips that I need to add. So I'm going to click on the box over here next to reference to select them both. Then I'm going to hit select. Great. Look at that. I know the pay slips have been added because now this pay slips smart button appears in the top center, telling me that there are two pay slips inside of this batch. Thanks, Odoo. So if I go back to the dashboard by selecting dashboard over here in the top, I can actually see the newly created batch that we have right there and it has a status of confirmed. Okay, next I need to finish the batch that was created with a status of new. So I'm gonna click on it just to open it up over here. So this batch covers pay slips from March 16th to March 29th. I need to add the pay slips to the batch. So I'm gonna select add pay slips over here. It's kind of weird. I don't, I don't see any pay slips. That's because they haven't been created yet, silly. All right, silly goose is closed out of there over here. Now we're going to hit generate. Boom. All right, so here on this pay slips wizard, I can actually generate pay slips for specific departments if we wanted to, job positions, or salary structures. The employees listed below are, well... These are the pay slips that will be generated according to the configuration that happens in this top field that we have. Okay, so I want to create pay slips for all employees except my carpentry interns. They were just paid on that other batch. I don't want to pay them twice. So I'm going to scroll to the very bottom and I'm going to try to find them with where they're at. So we have our carpentry interns and I want to click on the X's next to each of them right there where it says that. Okay, so now that we got rid of both of them, we're good to go. And now all I have to do is just double check everything is fine. And once we're all set and ready to go, we just hit generate. Boom. And just like that, I can see that Odoo has created 70 pay slips according to the pay slip smart button up at the top. It's perfect because I know I have 72 employees and two, well, technically 70 employees and two interns. Okay, now we need to actually process the batch and pay our employees. So we're actually going to click create draft entry over here. And then we're going to select OK on this confirmation pop up. All right, we're all set right there. Ah, I like that a lot. All right, now I'm going to click this create payment report button right there. Here I can determine how the information over here is going to be exported. In our case, because we are located in the US, I'm going to leave this as NACHA. 
Nacha, as in this is Nacha money. And that's how we transfer money from our corporate account into our employees' personal bank accounts. So the bank journal over here and effective date or the date the payslips will be paid are correct. So I'm just going to hit generate right there. All right. Look at that. Uh, we're all done. And the payment report appears on the batch here. Our accounts will use this file to transfer funds to our employees. Okay. So let's say it's been a day and the accountants have gone ahead and transferred the money. Now I can click on this Marcus paid button up at the very top and the status changes to paid. But I also need to process the batch for our interns. So I'm going to go back to the main payroll dashboard once again, selecting dashboard. I'm going to click on the confirm batch over here. Just like the previous batch, I'm going to click create draft entry over here. And then I'm going to click OK. All right. Next, create payment report. Once again, leave everything as is and generate it. All right, now that I have the NACHA payment over here, N-A-C-H-A, I'm going to click Mark is paid once again. <sighs> and we're all done. All right, that's it, folks. We've learned how to create batches, add payslips, generate payslips, create the payment report over here for transferring funds, and complete the payment process. Stay tuned for more tutorials where we dive into payroll reporting. Till then, don't forget to cash those paychecks. You need to get paid. You, the viewer.